Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about displacement method or volume measurement of irregular shape solid. I'm going to remind you how to work with this type of method when we have a regular shape solid and what information you need to consider for this method. First, if you remember that displacement method just used when we are going to measure irregular shape solid. This method is basically defined like this. We have a graduated cylinder and we add water here and we drop our irregular shape solid on this graduated cylinder. When the water level changed, we find the difference between the initial and final volume to report volume of irregular shape solid. But here, I'm going to give you this chance to work on possibility of observation we may have in this method. If I have this graduated cylinder and I drop our object in this graduated cylinder, we see three different observations. Let me draw three different conditions here. This is the water level and we drop our object here. If we drop our object here, our object may remain on the top, may go down, and may remain in the middle. So three different possibility, three different observation may happen. If our object remains on the top, as you see here, like this example, we understand the density of water is 1.00 gram per ml. If it remains on the top, it means density of our object is a smaller than density of water or in other words density of object is here is less than 1.00 so if it remains on the top if it happens we may say our object is going to float is going to float so water and object on top of this we call that floating and it means density of object is less than one if our object is going to be on the bottom of the container it's going to be on the bottom we may say density of object is greater than density of water because it's heavier so we may say density of object is greater than 1.00 gram per ml. So it means we talk about the first one. What do you call that if the object is going to be on the bottom of the container? So I'm sure you are going to say it's going to sink. So sink is the terminology we use for this one. So sink means density of object is greater than one and floating means density of object is less than one. What do you call if we have our object in the middle of the container, graduated cylinder? You may say that density of object approximately same as density of water or density of object is approximately 1.00 gram. So you may say something like that. What do you call that? So the terminology we use here, we call that suspend. You may call that suspend. So this is the last condition or observation you may have for this experiment. Suspend density of object is approximately one so if you have any object and you add to water you will see one of these three floating suspension and sink they are three different observation you may expect to see that right now i'm going to ask you if you add oil to water what happened 
if you add oil to water, assume that this is a water. And if we add oil, so let me draw oil like this. Oil. Oil remain on the top. Oil remain on the top. What can we say? We may conclude that oil has less density than water. Our density of oil is less than 1.00 gram per ml. So you may work on many examples and you may consider which one is related by the density of water greater or fewer or approximately same. So based on our object, we may have one of these three observations. I wanted to complete the videos for the density when we work in the lab. So by other videos, I'm going to work on problems and how to solve our problems by equation of the density. And how density, it helps us to solve our other problems. Thank you for watching this short video as well.